going on today in Cheesy's Garage? It's a Boge RV. How would you pronounce that? Boge or Bogue? Boge. 600 watt portable power station. It's got fast charging, 600 watt pure sine wave output, a smart LED screen, and 15 watt wireless charging on the top. It's got a little weight to it. Now it's got a 600 watt AC charger. So I think it says it'll charge it in a half an hour. Half hour to 90%. 135 watt car charging. And you can use 600 watts of solar panels to charge this. Weighs 14.6 pounds. The 27 by 18 by 19 inches. And it's got a 286 watt hour battery. So they carry a one year limited warranty by the original purchaser. Of course, if you damage it yourself, it's not covered. Let's check this thing out. The user's manual, heavy duty 12 volt charging connector. Well, they give you a nice solar connector. That's heavy duty too. It feels like, feels like 10 gauge. And an AC power wire. So I wonder if this actually functions as a UPS. Bouge RV. I think that's probably how you say it. So it looks like that's a 12 volt input charge. Definitely heavy duty. That's your 12 volt socket. Two 12 volt outlets. 5 volt 2.4 amp USB. 5 volt 2.4 amp USB again. 100 watt USB-C. And you have a fast charge port and two AC outlets and they give you little weatherproof covers on the outlets there's your AC input with a 15 amp circuit breaker on the back you have your LED lights they look pretty powerful it looks like two floods and one spotlight and another cooling port let's see how much juice this has Pretty nice readout. Lights are a little, little bit dim. And of course the light. Well, that's pretty neat. So it's got, has like a soft illumination. High and then a low soft illumination. Bright LEDs. Low LEDs. And an SOS. LED flash. Hmm. This indent is a little bit low for my S22 Plus. It says fast charger now. 7 watts, probably because I can't get a good flat surface. Huh. When it's drawing power, the beep is much quieter. Wow, it's going to be super fast charging. 550 watts. Be charged in 0.3 hours. It's at 51%. You can hear the fan going. Took about 15 minutes. Oh, that was actually surprisingly fast. So let's get some tests done on this. The fan is still on, probably because it's just a cool down process. Get my handy dandy multimeter oscilloscope. All right, let's turn it on, see how fast the AC switch is on. Uh, five seconds bouncing off 60 Hertz 115 volts and that's a nice looking sine wave so let's plug one fan in my biggest fan I'm your number one fan <laughs> That's 275 watts almost. Plug in that second fan. 
222. Let's see if it starts this fan while that fan's drawn 285 watts. The wind's blowing into it. Four thirty between four hundred and five and four hundred and ten watts. Let's see how long it lasts. Let's see how many volts this is. Try not to short it out here. Thirteen point four, that's good. Well at least the AC works with the twelve volt. Plug in my fan. Well that's good. I tested one at the 12 volt, wouldn't operate with the 110 volt. 227, 89%, 88%. So this has a 286 watt hour battery. Lithium nickel COMNO2. 700 cycles. I'm drawing 392 watts. Should run about 40 minutes. We'll see. Alright, it's been 10 minutes. And we're at 75%. If that's accurate, this should be about 40 minutes. That's normal for this size battery. Even though it'll output 600 watts, it's only going to maintain whatever the size of battery that's in here. It'll put out a full 600 watts. Because this is a 285 watt hour battery that's in here. It says it's going to last 0.4 hours left. Now yeah, we'll see. 242. And we're at 47% with 0.2 hours left. 251, it's been a half an hour. We're at 20%, 0.1 hour left. Let's see. Oh, just shut off. And it is 256. I missed it. As you know, sometimes you have to cycle this and recharge a battery for everything to calibrate. That's happened before on these. So if it's 256, it was... 34 minutes. Not bad for the first run. It says don't charge the product immediately after a heavy load because it may shut off on thermal to cool the batteries down. That makes sense. To prevent accidents, don't leave the product unattended during charging. Hmm. Well, let's get this charged up again. The charger takes a standard PC plug, which is nice if you ever lose this. And we'll see how long it takes to charge from empty. 257 right now. It says it'll take 0.4 hours to charge. That is actually pretty amazing for one of these portable power units. Because it has such a large charging power supply. A lot of these take quite a while to recharge. Especially with the bigger batteries. And it seems to be going up fairly quick. 319 and we're at 76%. Damn, that's the fastest charger yet on any of these. 325, and we're at 90%. You can see how the charger automatically raises and lowers how many watts it'll need to charge a battery. When it hit about 92 or 93%, that started dropping quite a bit. Once this is at 100%, I want to see if this will actually act as a UPS uninterruptible power supply so if you wanted to keep something plugged into the AC unit and you kept this unit plugged in it would maintain the AC output when you unplugged it and the power come on and then when the power comes back on it's gonna stay with the AC on I noticed the light comes on so as soon as this gets to a hundred percent we're gonna give it a shot 339 took 17 minutes to get to 98 percent that's pretty good. 99%. The fan to cool the internals is variable too. It's down to almost nothing blowing fan wise. When I was up to a 600 watt charge, this was blowing pretty good. This unit has a one year warranty. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It does what it claims. We can test my solar panel. I only have a 100 watt panel though. 100%. 342. 20 minutes exactly to go from 0 to 100. That's pretty good. Some of them take hours and hours. So we're going to see if this will work as a UPS. Put that on. And we're going to unplug it. Okay. 
let it run down I guess back to 99% and then we'll plug it back in so that'd be nice because you could plug your computer into this I always plug my modem router Wi-Fi unit into the one I have upstairs there we go 99% it's plugged in shows it's plugged in let's see how many watts it'll actually charge at if that's 278 uh, look at that yeah so it does have a pretty intelligent circuitry inside that senses all the outputs and the inputs and knows how much to charge and to maintain the inverter yeah it's, it's not even doing a full 600 so so it's taking 277 or 270 watts and then the extra wattage is what's charging the battery we'll just see if that gets back up to 100 percent all right took about two minutes to go from 99 to 100 percent you can see the battery is not flickering so that's done charging input is zero watts so probably when it pulls it back down to 99 watts the input will probably pop back up and just maintain that 100 percent battery that's my assumption now my router with the Wi-Fi and cable modem all together it only draws I think it was about 30 watts so something like that on this would last it was like 12 hours or something like that it was it was a pretty long time you just think it would have went to 99% by now it's been about about two minutes because you know it's not gonna last 99 hours without any kind of input I'll wait about another minute or two and unplug the external power supply just to see if it's getting a false reading because it's still plugged in not doing it let's unplug it hmm well now it's showing I'm gonna hold that 273 watt fan for an hour plug it back in now it's up to 36 hours so this has to be charging interesting I don't know what to think about that. I think it'll probably work as a UPS. That's what I was looking for. Can it be charged while using it? Yes, it can pass through, but we don't recommend you do that, which will bring damage to the battery. Hmm. Using appliances under 100% full battery appliances will only use the AC. So that's your answer, if, it, if you can use it as a UPS. Let's plug my little mini refrigerator in. See how many watts that draws. Off to 12 volt. There you go, 28 watts. We are in max mode. It says 13 volts. So it's balanced out at 39 watts. It'll be 4.7 hours. Let's plug in the 12 volt charger now and see what that does. pulling pretty good off that 12 volt outlet it's creeping up now 46 41 now well, went back down hmm that's weird must be sensing the voltage at the same time there you go 100 watts or 101 watts it was bouncing around 95 must sense the voltage of how much wattage it's going to pull. Left it plugged in for about 2-3 minutes and it's up to 102 watts charging off the 12 volt. That's pretty impressive too. Since some of these want you to charge them off of the USB-C, that's weird why it's bouncing around now. Hmm. This microvan does have an auxiliary battery in there with a battery controller. 110. Ooh, oh, that is hot. You don't want to touch it? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Definitely need a heavy duty 12 volt charging source. I can't believe how hot that was. I was drawing some juice. It even heated up this wire a little bit. Oh, yeah, I feel it. Feel it? <laughs> I think it's only, it's small like that. It's probably like a 14 gauge. You need, you definitely need a 12 gauge something big or a 10 gauge if it's coming from the front of the car how would you pronounce that bouge or bogue bouge 
This one's got some weight. Jeez. <laughs> it's a, so that's a 600 a watt unit. Heavy duty. Pull the battery down a little bit and then I'll put the solar panel. There's recharge time and run time on various products that you'd be putting to it. Standard solar weatherproof connectors. All right, 97%. That's good enough. Let's see how many watts the solar panel will charge it. Well, there we go. I think the most I've ever gotten out of that panel was about 50, 60 watts. The sun is going down a little bit. There's 48. You can imagine 600 watts worth of solar on this. And it'd be 0.3 hours to charge at 31 watts. So if I had five more of those. <laughs> so it gives you instructions on how to charge series parallel using multiple solar panels here. That's how you would do it. So you hold it, put the DC on, hold it, off, USB, and AC. So if you're interested in one of these, I got a special discount code for my viewers and a link down below in the description. Buy one up, tell them Cheesy sent you. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.